The energy crisis is driving coasts even higher and the threat of a blackout is becoming real. For many years I built micro cogeneration Stirling engines that require only a heat source for electricity generation. Many ask me if it is worth the effort to provide such small amounts of energy, but I believe that a micro cogeneration system, especially in combination with a battery buffered solar system, can be the key to energy self sufficiency. Firewood has become precious. My small biogas experimental plant needs only one bowl of kitchen waste per day to produce approximately 100 liters of biogas. A plant about 10 to 20 times larger would be sufficient to cover the daily demand for heat and electri electricity with a small Stirling generator. Green mass is cheaply available in many places in masses and can also be stored well for the winter. In order for my Stirling generator to be suitable for household energy production, the output must be increased somewhat and, above all, the reliability for continuous operation must be improved. In recent years I have mainly tried to reduce the cost and effort of building the Stirling engine. With a sharp rise in energy prices, it would no longer be the cost, but reliable endurance characteristics that would be decisive. Problems were mainly caused by the gears and plane bearings of the rhombic gear drive. My next step will be to replace the gears with timing belts and the sleeve bearings with roller bearings and then do endurance tests. But before that, I need to complete tests on the half rhombic sterling, which has some potential, and fix my exploded pulse EDM. Thanks for watching, and as always, I would be very happy for your commands and suggestions.